Okay, so as part of our study of elasticity, we're going to take a look at uh, an elastic demand curve and think about the consequences for a producer of cutting their prices. So what does it mean when we say that demand is price elastic? Well, it means that the coefficient of price elasticity is greater than one. That means that demand is price elastic. Consumers are highly responsive to a change in the market price. And uh, one of the key consequences of this is that if the demand is price elastic, if the coefficient is greater than one, then a supplier will gain extra revenue, total revenue, price times quantity, if they cut their prices. Just quickly work through a numerical example. So let's say a firm is selling 200 units of a product at a price per unit of £10. That gives a total revenue of £2,000. Now let's say they cut their price by 10% to £9 per unit, but that, uh, the result of that is that demand expands to 250 units. They're now selling 50 units more. That's a 25% increase in demand. Well, 9 times by 250 is £2,250. 2 so cutting the price has increased their total revenue. It's been a 25% increase in demand following a 10% fall in price. That gives a coefficient of price elasticity of 2.5, which is elastic. And we can show this on the diagram. I've drawn a relatively, a fairly elastic demand curve, shallow gradient. And I've cut the price from P1 to P2. There's been a significant increase in the quantity bought from Q1 to Q2. Can you see that the, the lost revenue from the firm selling at the lower price, which is shaded in yellow, is significantly smaller than the blue area, which shows the increased revenue from selling more units, albeit at a lower price. So the quantity effect outweighs the price effect, and therefore we can show that the total revenue for the firm has increased. Now this is quite an important point. If firms find they have a price elastic demand, they'll be tempted to cut their prices in order to increase their total revenues. And who knows, that might actually increase total profits as well. So when will demand tend to be price elastic? Well, the coefficient tends to be greater than one, when a product has many closed substitutes in the market, when the cost of switching between substitutes is low, when the product has a low degree of necessity, in other words, it's a discretionary purpose, when consumers are given a long time frame to be able to change their demand, when brand loyalty is weak, and oftentimes when the percentage of the budget spent on the product is quite high. So a price change is, is important. And when there's little in the way of habit-forming, habit forming products. The key point is that when demand is elastic, a fall in price for a producer tends to increase total revenue.